The history of radio in Armenia dates back to 1926, when the first experimental radio broadcast was made in Yerevan, the capital city. The first regular radio broadcasts began in 1928. In the early days of radio in Armenia, programming was limited to news and music. However, as the technology developed, more and more types of programming began to be offered, such as drama, comedy, and educational programs. Radio became increasingly popular in Armenia in the 1930s and 1940s. It played an important role in the Armenian Soviet Socialist Republic, providing a platform for the government to communicate with the people and to keep them informed about the war. After World War II, Radio continued to grow in popularity in Armenia. It was the primary source of entertainment and information for many people. Radio also played an important role in educating the public and promoting social development. In the 1970s and 1980s, television began to gain popularity in Armenia, but radio remained important. Radio stations began to experiment with new formats such as FM radio and talk radio. After the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, Armenia became an independent country. Radio continued to play an important role in the new Armenian state, providing a platform for the government to communicate with the people and to promote national unity. Today, radio is still a popular medium in Armenia. There are over 100 radio stations operating in the country including commercial stations, public stations, and community stations. Radio offers a wide variety of programming in Armenian and other languages, and it is a valuable source of entertainment, information, and education for many people. Radio has played an important role in Armenian culture and society for over 90 years. It has been a source of entertainment and information and it has also played a role in promoting national unity and social development. Radio continues to be a popular medium in Armenia today, and it is likely to remain important in the future.